hopefully we are back and we're going to be talking about YouTube shorts. So short form vertical video is so hot right now. And we've got TikTok, we've got reels, we've got IGTV and we have YouTube shorts. That's the new kid on the block. There's also like spotlight on Snapchat, but I, I'm, that's very questionable to me. But I'm telling you the short form vertical video, if you can tell like what the, the platforms put on their apps, that's where the money is going. And so it's not going anywhere. And we're going to talk about it. Hey friends, my name is Mary Lou Mandel and my mission is to encourage and empower you to create digital content and live your best creative life. So if you are into that kind of thing, please subscribe. I've got tutorials, tips, tricks, and some motivation posted up here multiple times a week. And starting in March, I will be posting every weekday in March. I don't know if it's going to continue after that, but I'm going to make an effort to do every Monday in, not every Monday, every weekday in March. And it's going to be a different topic every day. So if you want to get a head start and figure out what I'm going to be talking about so you can know what you want to join in for, then make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on the notifications. You can also connect with me on Instagram at Mary Lou Mandel, and you can also sign up for my newsletter if you want a weekly dose of Mary Lou motivation in your inbox. So lots of ways to connect with me, and I hope that you do connect with me in the newsletter on Instagram and also on YouTube, on YouTube Shorts. So we're going to talk about that today. We've got How About a Story here. She made it back. It's out of made it back into the live stream. This is a redo, do over because I had audio issues in the first one, but that's my journey. This is my journey. My content creator journey is to fight with microphones and printers. That's my legacy. But your legacy is maybe YouTube shorts. So let's get into it. So short form video, vertical video. So many platforms are embracing this, right? And we have, who do we have to blame for this? Is like Snapchat. We have Snapchat to blame because then Instagram took what Snapchat was doing, made it into stories. And then TikTok came along, which was musically. And I believe musically was like square before, but vertical video, but they, they just did this whole other thing with it. So excellent. It, it was like making the stories into a feed it is in like to music and like making a community about it. Pretty cool stuff. But YouTube shorts, there's some things that you want to kind of note that are different, but are the same. So let me talk about how they're all the same. So they're all short form vertical video, but of course in any of these, you can make a not vertical video into a vertical video. You can do something like this. This is what I do in Canva. Actually this, this one like that. In Canva, I make a little frame and then I can put the video in there and kind of size it where it can fit if maybe vertical vertical is not going to fit. And that's something that you can do with any of your videos. So just think if it is landscape, you don't have to like turn it around and have black bars on the top and the bottom. You can utilize that space for other information, right? Um, and another way that they are the same is is the the length kind of so TikTok and youtube shorts are up to 60 seconds reels instagram reels is up to 30 seconds currently but it's only a matter of time till they switch that so up to 30 seconds on reels up to 60 seconds on TikTok and shorts but all of the platforms recommend that you get it done as quickly as possible like i like videos that are under 15 seconds like even like around eight seconds. I feel like you can get your, you get in there and you get out and then you're done. Right. And then you get like repay play value because it's so short. People are like, Oh my gosh, I have to see this again. And that's also something I like to consider because I like to make my short form vertical videos in loops. So people rewatch it and rewatch it because there like, isn't an end. It goes right into the beginning again. So that's something that we can talk about in another video. If you are interested in that, let me know in the comments and I can do a tutorial for you. Um, so they all, the, the, plat, the, the platforms want the type of content that is quick and fun. They want things that are shareable and they want something with a wow factor or a twist. So something that's like, oh my gosh, at the end, that's hilarious. I can't believe they did that. Like there's a trend right now that I am obsessed with on Reels and TikTok uh, that is like using dramatic music 
So it's like, you know, you start and you're like, parents be like, why don't you do your homework? Right. And then it, it's just dramatic music comes on and they're like, why don't you do your homework? You know, like whatever, something dramatic like that. And I like taking trends like that and twisting it. So if you go on my Instagram page, you're going to see I've got my take on that challenge. Now, the issue is if you're going to do something like that on YouTube shorts, you may not have music clearance because they haven't made the same deals with the music companies as TikTok and Instagram might have. So we'll talk about that a little bit later, but keep that in mind that you can't necessarily make the same content and bring that to every platform. And it really is better if you create it for that platform and you create it with that in mind. And if you're going to do, if you're going to prioritize one, when you're making your content, think about how then it can go to other places without getting you in trouble. Cause I don't want you to get like any copyright dings. So the way that they're different, TikTok is a standalone app. The short form vert vertical video is the main content of that app. They also have live streams uh, that you can get after a thousand subscribers, followers, I believe, but you, you know, it's not really anything else than that at the moment. Um, it has a really great uh, editor, video editor in TikTok. There's so much that you can do. While I prefer to edit my stuff outside in CapCut or somewhere else, I will mess with the editor in TikTok more than I will on the other one, on Instagram. I just, I don't like it. And I'll do it if I have to, if it's very, very simple. So TikTok, you can do a lot in creating within TikTok. Effects, filters, music, they've got everything that you need is already in there. And that is what that app is for. So with Reels, Reels is within Instagram. So it's one of many types of content, but you can tell by the new layout of the app that that is what they really want you to focus on um, because it's where when you post, it's like the center button. It's the first thing that pops up on your on your feed there, they definitely prioritize reels. When you're on the explore page, you can see that they are trying to really push reels. And you can also tell if you're posting it, my reels get the most like views, metrics, engagement of, of anything ever because of the nature of it and how it's like a hot thing and that the app is definitely pushing it. You can create within the Instagram app and I've got a lot of videos about how to do that. And I suggest if you're going to create it outside, just make sure you do something within the Instagram camera, add text, add a filter, um, and, and just make sure you, you do add something because that just tells the app, it tells the algorithm that you played you played by their rules. That's what they want because they don't want repurposed stuff from everywhere else. Now, YouTube Shorts is in beta and it's not something that is very fleshed out yet. Creators in India already their their YouTube app has a creation tool, but that's only in India. The rest of us have to make it somewhere else and then upload the way that we would upload everywhere else. And I want to show you what it looks like in the app right here. So like this, so this is my, my YouTube app. And first up's going to show your, you know, just different feeds. There's me, you guys are watching. Thank you for hanging out. But if you scroll down, you'll start to see eventually the shorts. So they have stories and they have shorts. And I think stories, you have to have 10,000 subscribers, I believe. Shorts, anybody can start posting to shorts. And then when you click into that, let me make sure that is muted. It scrolls upwards the same way you would in TikTok and Reels. So you can definitely tell that they are working on making this the same kind of user experience that TikTok has because it's such a good user experience. You also can scroll to the side from here. So there's there's a few things to keep in mind with this, right? You 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 may not know, but you can just upload vertical video. It doesn't have to be a short, but shorts are meant to be up to 60 seconds, but I've uploaded vertical video up to 8 minutes already. I don't know how long you can upload it, but you can just upload vertical video. And I don't think people realize that like this isn't like that special. So you could have been uploading 
60 second or less vertical videos in the past. So when YouTube short started, they already took videos that were on the app that were vertical and under, under 60 seconds and started feeding in the, into the, the shorts feed. So there was already stuff there. A lot of those videos, there's like a video of a girl like tying her shoe. She's like, this is how you tie a shoe, short and snappy. And then it just like blew up. It blew up because it was one of the first things that got put on YouTube shorts. But these are supposed to be under 60 seconds if you're going to post something new. You wanna use hashtag shorts in the description or and or the title to trigger that you are adding this into the, the shorts player. I heard that you don't need to do that, but why risk it? Just put hashtag shorts until we know what's going on with this because it's a pretty new feature. They're working on it. They don't know where they're gonna go with it and it may stay or may not. I have a feeling it's going to stay, but it's going to turn into like a different a different game. Um, and, and yeah, just in case, put the hashtag on there and don't use music that you don't have approval for because I just don't want you to get a copyright infringement. Infringement. So with the music in TikTok and Instagram, there is a music library. Those platforms have negotiated with these different music companies, these licensing companies, so creators can use their songs. And sometimes not even the whole song is available. You can only use a snippet and you're really only approved to use it within stories and reels. So if they're going into your feed posts, I don't know if that turns into something different and maybe you're not allowed to use it there. On TikTok, they have their library of music and that's part of the like trending thing is to use the music that the the app wants you to use or that other people are using so because that becomes a search term for YouTube shorts because we don't yet have a creator place in our app and we're making everything off site I wouldn't use just repurpose what you have on TikTok and reels because you might not be able to use that music on YouTube because we don't have access to their their library yet there is a YouTube audio library um, and if you use something from there, you're probably safe. I like to use music from Thematic. Uh, and that is all the music that you see in my videos comes from this site. It is free. Hello, thematic.com. Lots of cute stuff. And when I've had to do branded stuff, and I know that like businesses can't use a lot of the audio that is on Instagram and Reels, like the, the pop music stuff, they're not allowed to use that on a business account. So I know if I'm making something, I can get music from here and then they can use it and it's not going to cause a problem. So with your songs, make sure you have rights to them. Don't just repurpose like your reel or TikTok that has like the latest Bruno Mars song and then think you can post it and it'd be okay. So just keep that in mind. So you've got this creator tool that is coming and that will have access to a library, but they're still working on that. And that's only in India. So if my friends here who are watching, who are in India, if you want to let us know in the comments, what it looks like, how it works, do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it, you know, is it trash? Is it wonderful? Just let me know in the comments. So you can share with us here in the United States and everywhere else in the world, what we're missing out on. So how can you use it? You can pull short clips from current content that you have. So you don't necessarily need to make new content for shorts while you're experimenting with it. And then you can put things into Canva and like I had shown you here, you put things into Canva that have a frame at the top and the bottom and you put branding there, whatever you want there. And then, and then you've got a vertical video with your not vertical content. Um, you can make content specifically for shorts. And if you want to start with shorts, then you know, you like, if you're doing shorts that, you know, you can, you have the rights to this music to use anywhere because you've done your homework, then you can post those to Instagram and TikTok if you have clearance to post them there as well. So if I make something for re for shorts, I use some of my music from hello thematic from thematic. I know that I can post that also on Instagram. TikTok, TikTok is tricky. I may just change the music to something within the app just to, to make sure I am 
in the clear because the last thing you want is to get your account shut down on any platform because you just you copyright infringed you can also get sued for that so don't do it um and depending on how long it is right so if it's a video that's over 30 seconds it's not you're not going to be able to post that to reels but if it happens to be a minute and you like just just make it like a minute and one second make it like 61 seconds, 62 seconds, then you can post it onto IGTV and it's no problem. Um, and what I like to do, I like to do like a quick tip that relates to my regular content. So like if I do an unboxing, I will clip together just a short version. That's like the fast, you know, you just wanted to see the box get opened part of the unboxing. You don't want to hear all the talking and like the description of everything. Great. That one's, that one's a short. Um, I also like to do quick tips. So if it's something that I know, like I can explain in 60 seconds or less, which is one of my favorite things to do, even though it takes so much time to do it, you can post that as a short as well. So anything that I'm doing, if it's under 60 seconds, I know it's going to be really quick and snappy. I will just shoot it in vertical, call it a day. Then I can use it on a bunch of different places. So with monetization, they don't play ads yet on YouTube shorts. The views... The views don't count um, towards the partner partner program eligibility. So if you're trying to get monetized on YouTube, you have to get a certain amount of views, certain amount of subscribers, watch time, things like that. Your watch time, your views on shorts do not count towards that eligibility, but your subscribers do. So if you get subscribers through shorts, it goes into the same bucket of subscribers that you have from your regular video content on YouTube, and then you can grow from there and get closer to your your stat your monetization eligibility but the views don't count so you still want to be posting your regular content your regular uploads to youtube and i wouldn't risk any copyright infringement and you know what this made me think right now i wonder if all vertical video doesn't get ads because i have a video up that's vertical that's eight minutes so i'll have to double check and get back to you on that but if you know the answer let me know so that is YouTube Shorts. If you have any questions about it, let me know. If you have any questions about other content creation that is coming up and you don't know how to do it or you just, you know, you have like a question about something, let me know. Like I am keeping a running list of, tu of tutorial topics. This was a request from somebody in the comments on a Reels video. So thank you so much for that because it's so helpful to know what to make videos on because I know that's what you asked for. So let me know. I hope you guys have a good day. Uh, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe. You can connect with me on Instagram. Oh my gosh, my graphic worked this time. It didn't last time or one of the recent times. There's some been glitchy like Mercury ret retrograde stuff happening. But connect with me on Instagram. Sign up for the newsletter. Drink some water. Don't be racist. Remember, no means no. Be good humans create some good stuff and I will see you next time.